tell you where the fish are. Get in there. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah man. Bam. 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 Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer of Potsky Outdoors coming to you again from the state of Alaska. And guess what? We're not with a guide today. We're not with an outfitter. We're out here with a couple of local buddies doing some fishing. We're on the Seward Highway. Cook Inlet is right behind me, only about a quarter mile. We have some fresh silvers that are starting to trickle into these streams. Now, this isn't an all day trip. We're coming out here for a couple of hours, early in the morning, before we have another trip planned today. See if we can get into a couple silvers on some of these small tributaries. Now watch and learn how you can use natural fire cured eggs and get bit pretty frequently. The one just shot up. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Woo! Look at that, man. Ah. <laughs> His first cast ever in Alaska. <laughs> he gets a fish. <laughs> just uh, picked this guy up on a hunk of fire cured skein. Man, what, that was awesome. First Good cast. fight. Yeah, see, oh dude, yeah. See that float rocket down to the bottom? Right to the bottom. <laughs> this, this is all day long right here, Kyle. Oh, we're, gonna, we're gonna get after these fish right now. So today we're out here fishing uh, for, for coho silver salmon here in Alaska. We're, we're running St. Croix rods uh, lined up with, with 12 and 15 pound pea line. Uh, quarter ounce and a half ounce slip floats on there trying to target these salmon with some fresh fresh cured coho eggs uh, done up with Potsky's natural fire cure when it comes to the silver salmon now yeah, I really prefer to, to fish a natural the natural cure on my eggs it, it keeps the color intact and, and it really gives a good presentation uh, to the fish we'll, we'll run several several different colors but a lot of folks start running red eggs orange colored eggs and they just oversaturate the waters and they continue to see those eggs. So we like to sneak in some, some natural eggs and usually we get these fish to turn on real quick when they, they see something different in the water. Um, I, I've been using the Posky Cures for quite a few years now and then I really like the way their cures come out when we, we hit our eggs with them. You know, they milk great in the water uh, tightens the eggs up and holds them together well. And we can continue to fish a, a piece, you know, an egg cluster uh, for, for quite a bit of while um, while it's still holding its color out there and still continuing to milk. The chum for sure. There we go, starting to cross them off the list. Got a chum now, chum and silver. Pretty good action so far this morning. Got quite a few fish out there. Another one on, uh, another one chomped the fire cube skein. Good fighting fish, huh? Oh, great. Oh, feel, yeah. Feel good on the rod? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Beautiful colors on them. Yeah, they're beautiful. You guys don't see those back home, do you? No, not at all. We don't have any chums at all. There you go. There we go. You got a good one? Oh, he's got a nice silver. Nice silver. Woo! Another nice fresh silver there. How about that? Bit of a fight. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cromer, too, huh? Cromer, dude. Right out of the ocean. Back in he goes. Rubber 
love the six to nine. Stud right there. Another nice silver. Kyle pounding out silvers down here in Alaska. Up here in Alaska. <laughs> Look at that. It's a fire cure girl, baby. Getting it done. Beautiful. Running the red. Yep. The red oh red yeah. Fire cure on that one. Switch up to orange and a few different colors. You see what you want in that red. Switching up some depth. I've done a little deeper. Got bit. Good fight. Hell yeah. Saint Croix ride right handling good for Oh yeah. Look at that, man. That's that's a thick, healthy Alaskan coho right nice. there. So one of the you know most amazing things about about being in Alaska is the is the fishing opportunities that individuals have coming on the road system. You know whether you go an hour north of Anchorage, come an hour south of Anchorage, there there are plenty of fresh freshwater streams, creeks, rivers coming out of the mountains that house plenty of fish. You know whether it's, it's salmon, silver salmon, uh, we're fishing king salmon rainbow trout you know the fish are in abundance and it's all easily accessible for for all skill levels of fishermen uh, coming to Alaska it's not uh, it's not very hard to find water up here and to get out and find fish and, and the great thing is a lot of these a lot of these stock fisheries were, were allowed to run bait in so using Using Posky's bait, you know, comes in great. We can get in these waters. We can find the fish. Um, but the most important thing is is looking with the Department of the Alaska Department of Fish and Game, checking the regulations for the area that you're traveling in to to ensure that you are in a bait friendly water, you know, and just following the regulations so you don't get it get yourself into any trouble with the troopers. But the uh, the fishing here in Anchorage and the surrounding areas is just phenomenal. There, there's not too many places uh, where you can come into an urban environment, you know, and catch beautiful cohos, beautiful Chinook salmon, and get after rainbow trout. Get him! Get him! Nice silver. One more time. There Beautiful you go. silver right there. Fire cure girl getting it done. This early morning. First morning in Alaska. Getting it done. Silver salmon, baby. Oh my god. Did you get it? I got it on film. Probably. <laughs> Dude. <laughs>